I'm high up in the mountains above the Sierra Nevada resort in Spain. Uh, it's a pretty grim day. It's currently snowing, very icy, but it's been the perfect conditions to give this low pro whistler backpack a thorough testing. It has been amazing. I'm going to now take you through some of the features. If I take the backpack off now, I'll show you some of the uh, cool features got inside. As you can see, big chunky buckles. Uh, I wear mitts and I can operate the buckles quite easily with a pair of mitts. So that's a huge bonus on a, on a day like today. Uh, let's have a look at the, we take a look at the back. So here's the main storage compartment. Huge chunky zips, take a look at those. Very easy, that's one handed. I'm holding the camera with my other hand. Okay. We open it up. There's the main compartment, as you can see. As is my camera equipment in there, my GoPro and accessories which usually go in that section there. I've got little pouches with Velcro sealants, the little wires that I carry when I'm out on the mountain making a few videos, taking some nice pictures. Uh, on a better day than this, I've got my speakers and my helmet. I can take phone calls with those, um, listen to a bit of music on the lifts. Clearly not a day for today though. Um, what's brilliant about this, I had quite a tumble uh, on the slopes the uh, day before yesterday and skidded a, a good couple hundred feet down a fairly steep uh, slope. And not once did I feel any piece of equipment that I was carrying on a day digging into my back. It's so well protected with these foam pouches on the back and on the, uh, on the outside lid of this case. Um, so not only does it protect your equipment, you know, my equipment costs a lot of money. You don't want to be sort of playing around when you're spending this much money on camera equipment, you're out in the mountains, but it protects my body as well, which is amazing. If I just turn it round, the inside lid, you can see pouches. You can see my memory cards in there. I've got a spare battery for my GoCo, uh, GoPro. There's my uh, SD cards. I've got a hard drive, put up a hard drive pouch in there as well. And then I've got some wires and things in these zip pockets. But again, all of this is, is padded. Absolutely brilliant protection for everything that I've got. If I turn the bag over now, um, these were the, this is the snowboard carry uh, system that I was telling you about earlier. On the side, here's where I carried my skis the other day. And as you can see, that foam padding inside creates sort of a semi-rigid um, element to the bag, which really helps to carry the skis. I was carrying um, skis next to a, a friend of mine, a colleague of mine, who has a, another bag of a different brand, hasn't got the foam padded sides. And he was saying that his skis were slightly collapsing into each other in sort of an A-frame type, uh, type shape. Weren't as, weren't as steady, which will make a huge difference if you're back country, out off piste, and you've got to carry your skis. So on the lid, we have what could be used as a goggle case. I'm wearing my goggles today, so I won't need, won't need that. But I have got a very hot cup of coffee very shortly. I've got my wallet in there, some spare contact lenses. Um, this is a really nice feature as well. Um, if I was staying out for hours and hours and hours a day, this is a weatherproof cover um, that fits over the top of the bag on the outside of the bag. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to be in a situation where I'm going to need this simply because the bag is so solid in itself but it's just nice to know that i've got a bit of an insurance policy there particularly not so much in the snow when it takes a bit longer to settle but if i was in a driving rain on the front as well as those pouches uh, sorry as well as those straps you will see that we have another pocket another big pocket now i just happen to have some hats in there but on the inside we've got another zip zippable pocket in there but that again is easily big enough to take a jacket take another insulated layer that compresses down and um, for those of you that want more camera equipment of course and are not necessarily using this for skiing those straps on the side could also be used to carry a tripod um you know a full-size tripod as well so for those of you maybe heading into the mountains to take a cool time lapse nighttime shots whatever it is that you fancy doing taking brilliant pictures in the milky way that's there for you as well that's something i want to talk about this bag the whistler by low pro isn't just a bag that could be used for skiing this is a bag that i would use in any 
outdoor environment. I can see myself using this out on the mountains during the day, even out with my kids. Like we, one of, one of the best things about adventure as a family is the idea of taking, taking photos, making videos, making memories and being able to keep those. This is the bag that's going to be able to keep those memories safe, keep me safe if I fall, whether it be on the slopes or in the mountains. I can pack so much gear into this and I know it's going to keep it all safe and sound. So there we have it. The brilliant Low Pro Whistler, um, available in all good retailers or from the Low Pro website. Go check it out. Thanks for watching.